Good morning gamers, it is me, Jork the Pork, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to install a 3DS emulator on your iPhone on iOS 17 without a computer, without jailbreak, and without revoke. With this, you'll be able to play 3DS games on your iPhone like Pokemon X or Mario Kart 7 for free easily. So let's get right into it. And the way we're gonna do that is through this app right here, Folium. Now you'll notice it costs $5. If you want to spend the $5 and bypass a kind of annoying installation process, go ahead. But uh, if you don't want to spend the $5 like, you know, the majority of the population, I'm going to show you how to get that for free. You can see I have it right here, and I did not spend the $5. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to this site right here in the description, eSign. And we're going to be using this to sideload Folium without buying it. So you're going to want to first install this DNS profile right here. And, um, and you go to settings, and then uh, go to general and then VPN and device management, and then you install it. The reason we do this is to make sure that eSign and Folium don't get revoked after um, you use them, or like, you know, after they've been on your phone for a few days. Now, eSign actually is signed right now, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to eSign, and um, you're gonna wanna find the newest eSign, and let's see, I'm gonna reload the page because it doesn't seem to be here. Um, this one right here, the Sun Life Everbright, now, if you're watching this like a few days or like a few weeks after the video has released, there's a chance that when you try and install this one, it's gonna fail. You can see it worked for me. Um, and then we're gonna do the same trusting process. Now, if it failed for you, you can see that on the eSign page, and I don't know why I keep going back to this, uh, there's a bunch of other eSigns. This Aldo group one usually works pretty well if like the signed one doesn't. So yeah, just you know, find one that works. And then you can open up eSign and we're just gonna agree to this stuff and then we need to get the certificate for sun life everbright so there's two ways you can do that the first is to come over to the telegram for eSign, which i'll have linked in the description and just install the certificate from there um, and save it to your files the second way is that on the eSign page they have this whole like list of e-sign certificates you can download it from there unzip it and import it that way. regardless once you get it you're gonna head into e-sign click on import and then find the uh, certificate and just look for it there find the sun life ever bright um and then unzip it if you got it from the telegram go in here we need to import the p12 file if you got it from where i got it the password is apple p12.com like so and capitals are important here so like so and then it'll say import successfully. If it doesn't, you typed it in wrong and then import the mobile ProJavision file. Um, all right, and now we're ready to get Folium. To do that, head over to the Folium link in the description and you're just going to download the IPA, hit download, wait for it to finish download, then head back into eSign and you're going to import it. So you just wanna go back into on my iPhone or iCloud or wherever you installed it and find Folium. And it's gonna take me a sec, let's see. This I believe is it. And if you got the zipped one like I did, you can unzip it and then hit import app library. But if yours isn't zipped, then that's just great. Then head into apps, folium, signature, signature. And you're going to wait for it to install. Then hit install. And install. And just like that, folium will install. If it doesn't, that means, you know, eSign probably didn't either. So you probably wouldn't even be at this step but I have a bunch of fixed videos if Folium doesn't actually install in the description. So then we can open it up and you can see that we're missing this AES keys file. It's a little annoying to find. There's a few ways to get it. The easiest way is to just look it up on Google and find a downloadable file. Uh, there's, I got this paste bin from Twitter. You can download it by just hitting download. Obviously this will be in the description um, and then hit download. And once it downloads, you can make sure that it's working just fine and then head into Folium and click on the paste bin thing or on the AES keys thing, click import and then find it. So you can see right there, we're just gonna click on it and it works. Um, it's possible that that paste bin will be taken down. I'm gonna make another video after this uh, on how to get a surefire way to get those AES keys. So you don't have to worry. I mean, if you're seeing this video in the future, that video will already be out. So yeah, just do that to get the paste bin. Or if the paste bin's taken down and you're seeing this in the future, then look at that new video, which hopefully will be linked in the description. But yeah. Now it's time to get games. I can't actually tell you technically how to get games, but I will show you what to do if you already have games. But I'm gonna give you a hint, downloading ROMs for your 3DS games. Uh, Google is your best friend. 
So yeah, uh, check the pinned comment for more info on that. So once you actually download your game, there's a good chance it's either going to be in like .7z format. Um, we need to get it to .3ds format. If your game is already in .3ds format, you're good to go. You can skip through this little section. Odds are it's going to be in some sort of like zip format, like .7z. So to fix that, you want to install iZip from the App Store. It's completely free. Um, and then you want to go to your .7z file and share it to iZip. And then it's going to do a little loading process. And then it's going to say, do you want to unzip all your files? You're going to say yes. And you can see that it's then going to go to going to go to go .3ds format. So we're just going to wait for this to unzip. And once it's done, you can click on that circle right there. Hit share. Hit share until it actually loads. And then you don't want to send it directly into Folium because there's some bugs right now, which I'll get into in a second. You want to actually save it to files. And I would just save it to on my iPhone. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but then you're going to go into files and you want to locate it. So you can see mine's right there. Now you might be thinking, jerk the port, can I just go in here and like click import and import the 3DS games? I mean, you know, it says you can do it right there. And there's actually an issue right now. This app literally just got updated for 3DS support today at the time of recording. So you kind of need to do a little workaround, which is uh, you go into files and you want to, um, actually the easiest way is to click on the triple dots, select the game you want, click on those triple dots and copy it. And then you want to go into On My iPhone and find the Folium folder, Citrus, because that's the 3DS emulator, ROMs, those are the games, and then just long press and paste it in. And then you should be good to go. They're probably going to release an update for that soon, so if you're seeing this in the future, that might not be necessary. But then in um, the app, you can load it up. Now, there are a lot of performance issues right now. In fact, this phone, I believe, is too old to even run any games. It should crash. Yeah, okay. It works on my iPhone um, like 16 or whatever I'm recording on right now. But if you're trying it on like a really old iPhone, it's probably not going to work. Uh, and some games are somewhat laggy even on the newest iPhones. Pokemon X worked just fine for me. Uh, Mario Kart 7 was a little bit laggy. And the reason for this is because Apple basically disabled JIT uh, on the newer games. So like Wii games and 3DS games. There are some workarounds for that. So I'm going to, you know, make new videos for that. And then the developers of Folium are also working on performance things. So if your concern is performance, don't worry about it. Right now, just focus on getting the app. So that's pretty much all. Uh, if you have any problems with this, be sure to let me know in the comments and I will help you. Um, if you have any trouble with games or anything, also be sure to like and subscribe as updates to Folium are going to be coming and I will definitely be making videos on them. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.